Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to manage files in the Linux terminal. First thing I'm going to do is make a folder, and to do this you type make directory mkdir, and then the name of the directory, which I'll just type in files. And then I'll cd into the directory, which you type cd and then files. Now we'll make a file. Type in touch file file1.txt. Now what I'm gonna do what I'm going to do is use the command or program nano and then I'll open file.txt in nano. I'll type something in and then I'll press control X Y enter and then as you can see if we cat this you can see that there's stuff in there. Um, now since there's a file in here we'll copy it we'll make a copy of it and we'll make file 2.txt and as you can see to prove to you that it is a copy or we will cat what's in there and as you can see this is an exact copy of what's in the first file now that you can uh, create and copy files you will need to be able to delete all the files that we've made the first thing that we can do is well, the only thing you can do is for deleting files is type in rm uh, in the name of the file you want to delete. Now, as you can see, that file has been deleted and it's no longer there. Another tip for deleting files is if we want to, um, if we are trying to delete this file, but it's asking us to confirm whether or not we want to delete it, you can type rm-f and then the name of the file. This will uh, delete it without asking if you want to confirm it or not. Now if you are a security person and you're prone to making lots of mistakes, then this might not be the best option because you could end up deleting something you don't want to delete. And as far as I know, there's no way to recover files deleted with this command. So I don't uh, suggest using this a lot. I mean, when you're messing with stuff in the desktop and the documents and stuff, that's okay. But when you're doing stuff in the file system and uh, with like libraries and stuff, that you you really can fuck things up. So be careful when you're using that. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this has been useful for you. And you can expect a lot a lot more Linux videos on this channel. So look forward to that and see ya.